Big news, boys and girls. We finally got ourselves our first sponsor. So a big thank you to P P Right. PRI Mid Scheme International for sponsoring this video. They were pitched to me as a multi-level marketing platform in which users are encouraged to help the company as much as possible by recruiting other users. But more about them later in the video. Also, I'm selling NFTs of my nutsack. Science can do a lot of wonderful things for us as humans. It's getting so great nowadays that you can literally change your height from being a tiny little dwarf man into a six foot giant. But another great thing that science can tell us is how attractive and ugly you are. Like we know scientifically proven that if you're an orphan, you are far more likely to be a disgusting goblin creature. But scientists have come out with a recent study telling us exactly who the most attractive man in the world is. Well, kind of. I'm telling a little bit of a fib. I should say scientists, namely me, as I am after all a qualified doctor. If you don't believe me, here is my certification. It was issued quite recently, but I assure you I am more than capable of providing facts and data. And seeing as I spend about 100% of my time thinking about men anyway, I may as well put that knowledge to some use. Enough messing about, drum roll please. The sexiest man alive, according to my own scientific data, is none other than international race car driver, Lewis Hamilton. What? What? You were saying? Why not Ryan Reynolds? Well, I get that that would be your knee-jerk reaction, but let me plea a case. Sexiness isn't just about how you look sometimes. It can be your job, it can be your status in the world, it can be the way you smell, it can be the way you act. And Louis absolutely smashes all of these qualifications out of the ballpark, that my mouth is watering when I talk about him. Let's start with the basic. My man is well fit. In spite of his height of 5'8", he is incredibly handsome. Like seriously, if he never decided to step foot into a go-kart, I can guarantee he would have made it as a model. I mean, look at this man. He's got lovely symmetry. His beard weirdly suits him, even though that normally makes you look like an absolute predator. His hair is fantastic, and something about those eyes are really inviting. Not to mention, he has a face that actually makes him look like he smells nice. Ooh, what's that? I smell a little bit of sweet vanilla when I stare at his lips. So that's one point to sexiness. Let's hit point two, shall we? Your success directly links to how well you can pull. There's a damn good reason why men like Elon Musk, I know I've said it on this channel before, the absolute bloated whale of a man he is, can pull women that are 10 times outside of his league. Money talks. And an interesting and successful career path, well, let's just say that pulls in the punani. And Lewis Hamilton's career is not only very interesting, he is one of the most successful race car drivers of all time. Even if you're not interested in racing itself, we are talking about a man who gets behind a death machine going at top speeds trying to outpace other drivers on an international scale, which means he globe trots around the world every week and is so good at it that he is one title away from being the all time greatest, beating out the current Michael Schumacher. Non racing fans, that probably bored you, but that is undeniably sexy. And with that successful career path, well, let's just say Lewis Hamilton is not searching for pennies in his cushion. Having an estimated net worth of 285 million, which isn't too surprising considering that some F1 drivers are paid by Rolex themselves to wear their watches in post-race interviews. Now you're saying, cool, he's really, really successful in his particular career. And also cool, he's obviously super duper rich. Well, this is the kicker. Lewis Hamilton isn't Lewis Hamilton's actual full name. He's motherfucking knighted by the queen. Lewis is so successful and has done so much for his country of England that the queen gave him a knighthood. So his full official title is Sir Lewis Hamilton. I'm gushing. Like, how? How? If me and him were chasing the same girl, honest to God, I wouldn't even bother. How do you compete? Your girl could love you. You could be in the best relationship of your life. This man just has to turn his head and speak very softly. And all of a sudden, you're single, alone, and depressed. The point three, the reason I bring up his voice. Brew people have started to become more diluted to the British accents in general. Years ago, it was considered the most sexy accent in the world. To give you the opportunity to join me on the London Eye for a glass of champagne. So, if you have entered, or if you're about to enter, Here's to you. The classic, yes, I am from England. But people have started to realize the average Englishman doesn't sound like that. This is only five pound chicken, bacon and chips. 
it's so nice, such a bargain and proper nice as well. They sound more, um, there's no real nice way of saying it, um, dumb as a bag of shit rocks. But not Lewis. Lewis doesn't have a country bumpkin voice. No, Lewis has the British voice. Lewis has that movie quality voice. Well, I think I'm weird. I just, I, it's the same thing as when I got home and got a call from, I think my dad told me that we got a call from Ron Dennis asking to sponsor you at 13 and I was, just went up to my room to do my, my, my own work, you know, so. And if you think it's a little bit too shy for that, I bet you, I bet you to take that humble little voice of his around to your sisters and your mums and just watch their knickers go <laughs> down in like a bowling ball when they hit that ground. It's, yes, we know Lewis is successful. Yes, we know Lewis is very handsome. Yes, we know he has a very nice accent. But do we really know everything about Lewis or is he just a little bit? mysterious because it was revealed not too long ago or rather it implied that lewis hamilton has a prince albert how did we get this information well the fia that's the people in charge of monitoring f1 has implemented a new rule for this season one in which drivers are not allowed to wear jewelry now lewis being quite famous for always wearing jewelry was interviewed about this decision and quite casually without even realizing it kind of implied that he had a piercing that he couldn't remove before obviously immediately rolling it back. Whether or not he has a Prince Albert or whether or not he has a belly button ring, we don't particularly know. But I think I've empirically proven that the man is a moist machine. If you need your driveways washed down, just ask him to walk along. Nothing. Nothing in that street will stay dry for very long. Let me know what you think, but if you disagree with me, I will immediately ban you. I only want echo chambers. Mmm, make my bubble feel nice and warm. Legally, you have to subscribe. Louis, baby, send me some tickets to Silverstone. Two of them, and I'll see you next time. Love you all. Bye-bye.